Justin, let's start off by talking about how you got your start in the oil and gas industry. Sure, I, uh, I guess I entered into it not necessarily by my own design, but um, I guess what, the brief stint that I did in public accounting, I you know was um, assigned to a oil field services company that also had an ENP operation, and um, you know I guess that was the first exposure, and then you know it was always I guess a, a source of fascination, just the the scale of it all, and and um, you know, just the capital flows. So being um, you know I guess a financially oriented um, you know immediately I guess garnered appeal at least from from my perspective. Talk to us about a challenge you may have faced uh, that you had to navigate that helped shape you to get to where you are today. So I guess the, the time was I spent as you know in investment banking um, you know it was it kind of hit a, uh, a plateau there as far as uh, you know personal growth or uh, from a from just from a career standpoint and you know, trying to decide what I wanted to do next was, um, it didn't just come to me. And, you know, kind of knowing what, it's kind of the devil you know versus, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know, I think it, it was easy to kind of get uh, sort of stagnated there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, uh, it probably took a little bit of a push, but, you know, just kind of having the, the courage or the, uh, the um, you know, conviction to kind of move on from there and, and, and kind of uh, jump into something, um, you know, that's maybe new or different um, was, uh, it seemed a little daunting at the time because this was, this was, you know, on the back of the kind of 14, 15 mm -hmm. price decline and, you know, the, there, there really was no safe harbor. Uh, so, um, you know, it was just an interesting time to kind of be making that transition, but, you know, Looking back on it, it was it was probably the best thing, uh, you know, that's happened for me since uh, since I got started in this. Well, with that being known now, what advice do you have for younger professionals, maybe trying to find their place in the industry? Sure, uh, I guess well, don't stagnate. Um, yeah. But uh, no, I mean, I, I think maybe maybe uh, a few things, but um, you know, one is I think it's, it's important just instead of. You know, always ask, try to understand the why. Um, you know, try to associate concepts as opposed to just getting the answer. I mean, a lot of that's cumulative. And so, you know, if, once you have that base, I mean, you can start to, you know, have, have independent mm -hmm. thought, which is difficult when you're just starting out. But, um, you know, if, if you've got, you know, the right, um, you know, mentor or, uh, you know, person that you report to that's willing to kind of take the time and if they can't well you know I'd question that as well um, and um, and yeah and just always always be looking to kind of to kind of grow whether it's um, you know it's not necessarily in terms of title or or um, you know some monetary value but just to uh, you know expand your skill set and um, you know make yourself more attractive you know for the next opportunity if, if you do have, to, if you do decide to uh, to make a move, absolutely. What about work-life balance? Do you have any advice there? Well, I mean, it kind of comes and goes, but um, you know, I think there's a time and a place for um, sort of putting everything else uh, on the shelf and and just getting the job done. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but certainly when it's you know when it's not required of you or you do have. Uh, a moment between. I mean, our business is largely transactional, so there's certainly some lulls uh, in between kind of the the hot and heavy, um, you know, just circumstance around uh, trying to get a deal done on a, on a timeline. Mm -hmm. Well, we really appreciate your time today, Justin, and thank you again for sharing your story and congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.